So we just picked up groceries. I haven't vlogged on a Saturday, so we're gonna vlog today. Rems and I are out. also going on a date later. Nice little day, just me and her. <laughs> just like back in the day. <laughs> Damn, pretty close. Still got it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take everything out first. No. Kids also requested hot dogs. I bought two. Um, I'm gonna put one in the freezer. Some beef chorizo, 18 eggs. We're all out of eggs. I usually get between like 10 to 15 bananas depending on if we're all out or what. But I just got 10 this time. Greek yogurt for the older two. And soy yogurt that I get for Mavis. It's the vanilla silk yogurt. She's a little sensitive to milk uh, sometimes. Hot dog buns. Okay, so I got some tortillas. I get these for chimis uh, to fry them. Romaine lettuce, four avocados, three tomatoes. And then I got five apples. I always buy two packs of strawberries. Strawberries are a must. And then I got some of this for our smoothie cups. And I swear I only bought the 18 ounce of blueberries, but they gave me the, the 18 ounce and then they gave me the nine ounce. So we'll use those for smoothie cups too. I prefer to just buy a little extra of fresh fruit or berries or whatever and use those for our smoothie cups. Right now, Ram is gonna make uh, some smoothie cups because we have bananas that are super ripe. So he's gonna use those and I'll kind of show you guys what we put in them. But they're easy for us to just, they're like protein smoothie cups. And they're easier for us to just kind of dump put milk and be good um, as opposed to having to like get all the fruit out and the spinach and the protein and the, like all the ingredients you know so I'll show you guys how we do those in a little bit we're gonna make fajitas so I bought some bell peppers um, I got three of those I got a bunch of carrots I don't remember if I need them for anything that I'm making and also cucumbers the kids like cucumbers too cucumbers and carrots for snacks then for the pantry, I got tostadas and my favorite granola. Then I got these toasted Ritz chips. These are so bomb too. And then I got some of these for s'mores because we have all the other stuff. All that ended up being $140. $140.70. Not too bad to be honest because I try to stay like $150 to $175. That's like the most. Last grocery run, we went in person and it ended up being $280. We went in person with the kids and everything, and I remember uh, <laughs> we were leaving, and I, I had taken the two younger ones to the car before Ramses and Jet uh, were finished checking out, and then Ramses gets to the car, and he's like, it was $280. We can never come back here again. <laughs> I was like, uh, so yeah, we're usually way better uh, being on budget if we order online through the app because we can kind of see, like what I do, I just kind of add whatever I want and then at the end, because we kind of do things a little bit backwards, we will um, see what we have first and then build meals from there and then maybe a meal or two will be something that we want to make that maybe we don't have all the ingredients for um, and then we'll you know, buy everything we need for that. But for the most part, we try to, you know, kind of go backwards. But yeah, when we went to the grocery store, we did not do that. We had a general list, but the kids each got to pick things and like we saw new things that we hadn't seen before and we just, you know, just went from there. So yeah, if you want to save money, I would highly suggest using the app and being able to, it's like, makes you a little bit more mindful. You can see the like total before, you know, you check out and stuff as opposed to being at the store, you're just like, oh, this looks about a hundred dollars and it's like double that. So, and then when I'm under budget, I do buy a few extra things uh, like the weenies and stuff. I can put these in the freezer. So things like that. So, all right, let me put everything away. for an hour. Rep and I. Bobby! Can't do it with the accent. Can't be silly, you have to be real. Mejor no hago un poco. Mejor me quedo cachadito, más bonito. 
Lo que estoy haciendo es sacando los vegetales viejitos y tirándolos. Now, ahora, lo que voy a usar es como estos ya están medios feos, pero los voy a usar para un licuado. Nuestros licuados de proteínas. Es que todos estos mangos que ya están viejos, los vamos a echar aquí y los vamos a congelar. Turn it to Puerto Rican real quick. Been listening to too much Bad Bunny. Digresa. Calmadito, calmadito. Bueno, tenemos estos vasos con tapadera. Con tapadera. So it was way too loud, but I'm just gonna do a voiceover on the smoothie cups, the protein smoothie cups. I think I didn't uh, say that it was protein, but we add protein powder to this. We put, take all our ripe bananas. That's why I like to buy extra. So we always have some for the end of the week. And then uh, whatever fruit I either bought or was ripe and left over, if we had any, we throw that in there. And then um, I like peanut butter, like a little scoop of peanut butter in mine. Uh, we put cinnamon in there and whatever greens we like. So you can pretty much customize this to whatever you want. You could put chia seeds in there, you could put flax seed, whatever you like to add to your smoothie. To, but this makes it super nice. Just dump and just put whatever milk you like. If you don't have milk, you can use water. You, it works all the same. One tip that I have though is that if you have a deep freezer, we put ours in our deep freezer. They get really, really hard um, after you know a few days. So um, just taking it out like five to ten minutes before you're actually going to blend it uh, is really helpful. And then also uh, letting it sit in the milk for a little while in the blender for it to soften up before blending makes it really easy um, with our Vitamix. If I can recommend anything uh, to warm up, it's jump roping. It's easy on the joints and knees, um, and it works your shoulders, your arms, and it builds a sweat. And you can really get out of breath, and you can go fast. You can do modifications. You can go slow, but just do more emphasis on things. So I'm not coordinated enough. I love it. It also helps you with coordination. Hell yeah. Um, and it's just fun. Like jumping, jump for 10 seconds. See how fun it is. My workout was shitty because I started getting Hello. cramps in my hamstrings. <laughs> Ok, ok, mamá, está bien. Ok, al rato nos vemos. Bye. Ah. She butt dialed me. It happens. It happens. <laughs> sure. Ok, so here are the date night fit. I'm wearing these boots that I got on Amazon. Hopefully they're not too uncomfortable. Let me show you guys the whole fit. You guys look so cute. My freaking allergy started acting up. Dang, daddy don't have a parallel park, but he knows what he's doing, you know. It helps with all the damn cameras they got right here. <laughs> 360 view, one in the front. Get my skittles. If you can't park this shit, you can't drive. <laughs> For real. I was just trying to give you a compliment. Jeez. Oh shit, these sprinklers turned on, bro. Yeah, they just want what? to have a moment right here. What the fuck? Are you serious? How am I supposed to get out and get wet? The car is getting wet right now. We just got it detailed. Jeez. What the fuck? Hey, that bush in front of our house is going to grow like that shit right there. Like oh. <laughs> no, but I don't think the HOA will let it. Did you really lock my ass in here? Yeah. Been oh, sitting for an hour and a half. God damn. What happened? My titty's about to fall out. You have your card and stuff? Sí. You know, make it all guys. I... La, 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 la. Outfit check. Slow down, bro. Slow down. You already know. It's Halloween, and we're getting Jetty ready. She's an elf. 
the ears didn't come. The ears didn't come, but it's okay. We're gonna work with it. Because we're not wussies. Francis is <laughs> making me a shake because I literally haven't eaten all day today. I've just been, I've been, uh, what's the word? Busy, distracted, oh, said not something like that. I'm not dressing up as anything. I'm just gonna wear, I think I'm gonna wear my Ouija board sweatshirt. I have a bunch of different like Halloween tops and stuff. So we'll see. It's super windy outside. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so this is the base we're gonna do. All right, this is the inspiration. Let's just get the makeup and stuff. Look how cute. Uh, Daddy found the ears. Yes. So, we makeup's done. Do My makeup's gonna be very natural. Yes, because sissy's up. Look like this. A granny. <laughs> A granny. An abuela. An abuela. Come here, me. Thanks, babe. Come here, let me look at your makeup close up. Close your eyes. Oh, look to the left, look to the right, I told you you <gasps> turn around, <gasps> wow, so beautiful, I'm gonna go get your heels, Jetty's all done, she's just having a hard time with that headpiece, just take it off, take it off and we can redo it, so I put these little clippies in May's hair, so her headband would stay, and it goes so good, huh, you like it? And the costume was a little itchy, so we put on the, the long sleeve under. And you're wearing your cute little heels that you got for your birthday. Let me see. Go turn to the side. Ooh, so cute. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm a You were just the one. Oh, oh you're Kate! I know. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. We're getting dinner. I want a Chick Fil A, but I was outnumbered. You mind if I get uh, three coloring books? Bye, right, baby. Say bye to Daddy, Mama. Bye, Daddy. This is all our candy after Halloween. This is our oak shop. Have a fun day. I love fun day. All right, guys. It's the next day, eating a lollipop. It's the next day after Halloween. I have lots of cleaning to do. I also wanted to chat with you guys before I start my workout. <laughs> this week's been dragging for me as far as energy. And I don't know why I've just been dragging this week as far as working out. I didn't work out Sunday or Monday. Tuesday, yesterday I worked out. And then today I just took forever to get out here. Even yesterday I didn't even come out here that early. I haven't gotten up early to work out probably since I finished my 30 days of running. So yeah, I was like, what is wrong with me? Like, why am I feeling so just like tired? I was just feeling just more tired than usual. And I checked my period app and I'm starting my period next week. So for me personally, that's the worst time as far as energy and like all that goes is the week before my period. During my period week, I feel a little bit tired because obviously you're menstruating so like you're losing blood so you feel a little bit more tired but it's not the same as like the week before my period. I am sleepy tired like I don't want to get out of bed and I'm just like I don't know what what it is. Once my period comes I just have more like cramps and you know those kinds of symptoms but not really lethargic how I am the week before so um, I've been feeling that this week so I'm trying to push through I'm trying to push through this it's Wednesday so it's barely today's gonna be my second workout I think I'm just gonna put on a strength training my full body workout I'm gonna stretch and then I'm gonna walk for like 10-15 minutes and then do a strength training Peloton video <laughs> 